Alexandra Ellen McLean Denny, the 6th of January 1947 to 21 April 1978, was an English singer-songwriter who was lead singer of the British folk rock band Fairport Convention. She has been described as the preeminent British folk rock singer. One, after briefly working with the Straubs, Denny joined Fairport Convention in 1968, remaining with them until 1969. She formed the short-lived band Fotheringay in 1970, before focusing on a solo career. Between 1971 and 1977, Denny released four solo albums, The North Star Grassman and The Ravens, Sandy, Like an Old Fashioned Waltz and Rendezvous. She also duetted with Robert Plant on The Battle of Evermore for Led Zeppelin's album Led Zeppelin IV in 1971. Denny died in 1978 at the age of 31 from head injuries sustained as a result of a fall down a flight of stairs, too. Music publications Uncut and Mojo have described Denny as Britain's finest female singer-songwriter. 3. 4. Her composition, Who Knows Where the Time Goes, has been recorded by Judy Collins, Eva Cassidy, Nina Simone, Mary Black, Kate Wolfe, Nancy Griffith, 10,000 Maniacs and Cat Power. Her recorded work has been the subject of numerous reissues, along with a wealth of previously unreleased material which has appeared over the more than 40 years since her death, including a 19-CD box set released in November 2010. In January 2023, Denny was ranked number 164 on Rolling Stone's list of the 200 greatest singers of all time, 5. Childhood. Denny was born on the 6th of January, 1947, at Nelson Hospital, Kingston Road, Merton Park, London, to Neil and Edna Denny. She studied classical piano as a child, 6. Her paternal grandfather was from Dundee, and her paternal grandmother was a Scots Gaelic speaker and singer of traditional Gaelic songs. At an early age, Denny showed an interest in singing although her strict parents were reluctant to believe there was a living to be made from it. She attended Coombe Girls School in New Malden. After leaving school, she began training as a nurse at the Royal Brompton Hospital, 7. Early career Denny's nursing career proved short-lived. In the meantime, she had secured a place on a foundation course at Kingston College of Art which she took up in September 1965, becoming involved with the folk club on campus. Her contemporaries at the college included guitarist and future member of Pentangle, John Renborn. 7. After her first public appearance at the Barge in Kingston-upon-Thames, Denny began working the folk club circuit in the evenings with an American-influenced repertoire, including songs by Tom Paxton. Together with traditional folk songs, Seven and Denny made the first of many appearances for the BBC at Cecil Sharp House on the 2nd of December, 1966 on the Folk Song Seller Programme, where she accompanied herself on two traditional songs, Thorbata and Green Grow the Laurels. Her earliest professional recordings were made a few months later in mid-1967 for the Saga label, eight featuring traditional songs, and covers of folk contemporaries including her boyfriend of this period. The American singer-songwriter Jackson C. Frank. They were released on the albums Alex Campbell and his friends and Sandy and Johnny with Johnny Silvo, 9. These songs were collected on the 1970 album It's Sandy Denny, where the tracks from Sandy and Johnny had been re-recorded with more accomplished vocals and guitar playing. Nine of the Complete Saga studio recordings were issued on the 2005 compilation Where the Time Goes, 10. By this time, she had abandoned her studies at art college and was devoting herself full-time to music. While she was performing at the Troubadour Folk Club, a member of the Straubs heard her, and in 1967, she was invited to join the band. She recorded one album with them in Denmark which was released belatedly in 1973, credited to Sandy Denny and the Straubs, All Our Own Work. The album includes an early solo version of her best-known 
and widely recorded composition. Who knows where the time goes? Seven, a demo of that song found its way into the hands of American singer Judy Collins, who chose to cover it as the title track of an album of her own. Released in November 1968, thus giving Denny international exposure as a songwriter before she had become widely known as a singer. 11.